What we've got to do is treat ourselves with some compassion and recognize that life is tough. Sometimes things go crazy. We all have days where we freak out or lose it or just think, I can't do this. X Rhythms. If someone believes that it is their family or friends that are causing their mental health to deteriorate, what would you suggest to them? Because I know this one feels particularly important because I think at sort of the age between 12 and 20, maybe you end up in groups with people that you, you think maybe are affecting your mental health, but because you want to stay in a little group, you, you struggle to say anything to them that maybe they're upsetting you. Yeah, it's tricky, isn't it? And relationships go up and down and relationships change. And like you say, particularly friendships when you're in your teens. And and with parents too, or, or whoever you're living with at home, you know, part of your natural instinct and needs in that season in life is to, to, to develop a bit more independence from your parents, to depend on them less, and, and to start to separate your headspace from theirs. And that's really tricky for both sides, trust me, because I'm the parent now, I've got a teenager, and it's, it's, more, it's harder than you think it is. It's so good to, to join clubs or do activities or go find some spaces, youth groups, whatever, where you can meet other bunches of people. So you've got different groups of friends because then if some argument or something tricky blows up in one of them, you're not left with nothing. And it just makes you feel a little bit less unstable, helps things to feel just a little bit certain in those trickier moments. Your Be Headstrong platform is all about giving mental health resources for young people. So could you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, I would love to tell you about Headstrong. <laughs> so Headstrong is an online space designed for teens and young people. And it's all about health, mental health and well-being and this bigger picture of what it is to do life well. So we talk about doing real life in the real world and, and helping young people figure out how to get past some of the challenges. And that may be big stuff like bereavement or struggling with anxiety or, or something else or a mental health problem. It could be the littler stuff like, like just dealing with boredom or how to motivate yourself. Or, or it could be dealing with a crazy season in life like the pandemic. Headstrong was launched about a year ago, just as we just came out of the first lockdown. So it's part of supporting young people in this slightly crazy season. And it comes out of the fact that we really believe in young people and what we want to do is equip them and enable them and answer their questions and for there to be a good space that they can go with some of this stuff and get really good advice so they can journey right the way through that tough stuff and come out the other side. As a faith-based organisation, do you find that mental health and Christianity go hand in hand? Well, honestly, I would say not always, because I think a lot of people's experiences of church spaces and religious spaces, faith spaces, can be a little bit difficult. They feel like, gosh, maybe I shouldn't mention this here. If, if yeah. I was a, a better person of faith, maybe I wouldn't be struggling with this. That sometimes well-meaning people will give advice that can feel a little bit like you're being criticised, like, you know, yeah. when they say there's a do not fear for every day of the year and you think, well, sorry, you know, I'm actually feeling really anxious right now. The Bible uh, is an amazing source of ancient wisdom on how to do life. And it's a, it's, a, it's a book that's full of stories of real people encountering real challenge and therefore struggling with all the same things that we struggle with. And, and for people of the Christian faith, even Jesus, who was, if you think about it, God living in the brain and the body that he designed, which is kind of cool. Yep. Even Jesus <laughs> experienced powerful emotions, had to deal with some of that stuff, had to deal with the limitations of being human, like getting tired, having to take naps, stuff like that. So you're bringing out a new initiative called Brave. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, so Brave is coming out in the next week and then following on in the weeks on from that. And, and Brave is about part of our response to the sort of challenges of this weird like re-entry season. And we know that lots of young people, lots of teenagers and lots of adults as well are, are struggling with some aspects of this moment. And it's more complex than you might think. And so that's what Brave is about. We're gonna look at four key issues that we know can be tough. So we're gonna look at tough stuff, particularly coming out of pandemic. How do you deal with, with those moments when your life has changed in a way that you never expected it to, or you've hit trauma or loss? 
we're going to look at that so then we're going to look at control so those how do you deal with just that feeling like life is out of control how do you deal with that in a healthy way we're going to look at failure those moments where things just don't go the way that you hoped or planned and then identity this big question of who are you and who, who do you listen to in all the messages that tell you who, who you are who you could be who you should be if anyone needs more information about all this, where is the best place for them to go? So I know you've, you've mentioned a few, have got the different social media. Would, would someone go to maybe, they'd look at Brave more than they'd look at Headstrong or do you think that they're, they're suitable for everyone? Yeah, so I think if you're, a, if you're a teenager or a young person, I would definitely head to Headstrong first. And you yep. can either like have a browse through one of, one of our social media accounts or go look at, there's a bunch of videos and stuff on TikTok. Or you can go to the main Headstrong site, beheadstrong.uk. So if you're a little bit older, you can still check that stuff out because actually I, I find it really useful even, <laughs> even as an adult. Or you can go to the Mind and Soul Foundation, which is mindandsoulfoundation.org. And that's another space. We're on social media at Mind and Soul UK. And there's, again, there's just heaps of resources there articles videos all sorts of information in particular over the last 18 months looking at all the different challenges that pandemic has brought for us that all sounds amazing kate thank you so much for talking with me today oh it's been great to chat thanks